going to go right here to our right in the middle. Uh, this one's for Coach Smart and you, Stetson. Obviously, some roster things you can't predict, like quarterbacks transferring out and having a little bit of instability at the position. But kind of by necessity, you've been forced to develop some of the players on your roster, in addition to bringing in these top-level recruits. And I know football is a development game as much as it's a recruiting game, but you know, where do you think in that balance this team falls? And you know, how important was you know, players getting better under you to being able to get back to this point of back-to-back -back titles? Well, it was a big part. You, know, you lost whatever it was, 15 draft picks and however many portals you guys have reported it over and over, and we didn't gain anybody. So the development part was super, super important. I'm going to tell you another important day was about three days from right now last year when he came in my office and he said, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to come back or ride off in the wind. He goes, I don't understand. Everybody's telling me that I should just ride off in the sunset and be the legendary quarterback that won a national title. And he said, that's just not who I am. And he's like, I, I don't, I don't get it. Why should I do that when I have an opportunity to play again? Like, like, why, why, why don't we go win it again? And you know, I'm kind of thinking, well, that'd be nice, but we lost 15 draft picks. I mean, it might not be that easy this time. And uh, he had full conviction that he wanted to come back and go opposite of the mainstream. Like, like all he wanted to do. He was here, I think, a year with Jake, and he knew that Jake had left early, and he brought it up to me, and he said. I want to play. Like, I want to go play football and prove to people that this is no fluke. We can do this. And he did everything he said he was going to do.